Kal, Halayim La, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Kal, Halayim La, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Give a double honors to the apostles and elders that teach well, rule well, sealing the elect, the apostles and elders of GMS, um, the true elders, you know, pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. Um, give, I'm going to say shalom to the, to the elect that's out there, that's sincere, Akim, that's teaching this truth and truth and sincerity also, you know. Now I'm going to start this video off with this with this with this video, um, Lord willing, this this lesson is edifying for you, Akim, and you, sincere Aquathium. All right, Mr. Hello. Millie. Hello. How are you? All right, Chris Rock here. Yeah. All the way from America. Yeah, very good. You're welcome to all this. Now I hear you, the man with the hair. Yes. You got more hair than anybody. Yes. If I want some Indian hair. You the man to see. Yes. This is daily we are getting like this. Collected from the temple. Wow. Well, show me some more. Let's yes. see some more. Come. What are they doing right now? Now, this is the hair which is uh, bought from the temple. And they're just uh, segregating this thing. And this is uh, before washing we do like this. Then we go for washing. Okay. Because there will be some bugs. It is all dead bugs, but uh, some people, they don't like to have that lice and bugs in their hair. Yeah, I don't. Whenever yeah. I buy hair, I don't yeah. want that bugs in there. This is the place where we process human hair. Weed paradise. Yes. <laughs> so this is where the magic happens. So. Yes. And everyone's got like a perfect weave on their head. Yes. What are they doing right there? See, this is the Remy I showed you that is after washing, they will just put the hair in the ankle, they'll remove this tangle, and they'll remove the top side of the hair. Wow. So then it will be bundled and it will be single on bulk hair. Okay. Approximately how many heads of hair are processed every day? No, that weight. Kilo, so yes. you don't even care about yeah. the head. You no, measure no, no. about a kilo. kilo. Uh, we measure by kilo one. You yes. like soft face, yes. keys, kind of like cocaine. Yes. The hair is business, probably easier business to be in. Too. Yes, it is a legal one. It's legal. <laughs> are there like hair farms? Are there like no. just places where just a bunch of women are sitting there growing no, hair? No, no. It's everything from sacrifice, bunch okay. of. Everything's from the sacrifice. Your other friends sacrifice their hair too? Yeah. Everybody does. Everybody does it. I guess nobody in India buys hair. Yeah, we already have our own hair. <laughs> they going in at their beauty right now. They getting it for the low. You know what I'm saying? Look at them get it. Want to get it for the low. Shalom is Alright. All right. That video that was sick, man. The East Indians, the Elamites, you know, they they sacrificed the hair to to idol gods, you know, to their religious gods. You know, but we all know there's one power, you know? So those are called idol gods. Um, let me get it to some scripture. Uh, um, let me see what that one first. Salak. Um, right. Let me see if I'll get Psalms.
Let me see if it's 97. You know, they're, they're, they're spiritually worshiping these gods by wearing the weave, you know. Because that weave is sacrificed to idol gods. That's, that's, it's like, it's like if we wear a cross, you know, that's a graven image. You know, that's, that's onto an idol god. So, if you, if you wearing a cross is, is a sin, you know, how much, what's the difference between you wearing a weave? You know, that's a sin, you know? Um... Psalms 97 and verse 7. Confound it be all. So like it, Psalms 97 verse 7. Confound it be all they that serve graven images that boast themselves of idols. You know, confound. You, you don't know what's going on. You know, you're confused because you serve graven images like the cross, you know, that boast themselves of idols. You know, worship him, all ye gods. You know, um, we ought to worship Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And it says, confounded be all they that serve graven images that boast themselves of idols. You know, that's what they're doing. They're boasting themselves with these idols. You know, let's go to that word, boast. See how crazy they were going over over those sacrificed hairs, you know, from 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 Elam, you know, um, that were boast. I mean, it's the Strong's H, nineteen eighty four. Halal. Halal. You know, that, that means to praise, you know. I know that just from the um, the Lashawan Kadash, the Hala. You know, it means praise, you know, to boast. You know, you 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 praising you praising that hair because our women they um what's the word? Um they they very dependent, you know, on that weave 'cause because um because they they got no hair, you know. <laughs> They're ashamed of their hair, so they, so they, they're they're very dependent, and they boast of the only we. Once they get it done, you know, you see all these pictures on social media of them showing off their blonde hair, you know, and um, and they weave because they boasting on it. They they they're praising it. They don't don't touch my weave. Look at my weave, girl. They do all this foolish. They they met. <coughs> Let me just read these. Um, to make a fool of, to make into a fool, to act madly, act like a madman. That's how they was acting over that weave. They was mad. They was mad, mad men off that weave. They was to to flash forth light to shine. You know, they boastful of that of that of them idols, man, and that's spiritual. You know, they spiritually fornicating. Um, by wearing that weave, um, get Psalms one oh six. Psalms one oh six and verse thirty six. Yeah. It says, no, I'm going to start at 34, Psalms 106, verse 34. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom Yahweh commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works, you know? You know, we learn in their works, you know, they... They sacrifice to idols, and we buy and we buy the things that they sacrifice to their idols. We buy them, and we and we rock it, you know. You know, mainly the sisters, you know, the Aquathium, you know, they rock. 
they um they wear stuff pertaining pertaining to idol to so like a pertaining to idols to idol gods you know and they 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 learn in the they don't they don't know but they don't know most people don't know about that video that I show you know they don't know that it's being sacrificed to idols but but really they're learning the work you know of the heathen by um by by sinning by doing these images you know um it's like um they're learning their ways by buying things that sacrifice the idols which is a sin and that's that's just like what we did back in the um in the, in the days you know it's not the new under the sun you know we continue to 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 spiritually fornicate you know going off into other idols you know cuz they 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 love that hair you know they they damn near worship it cuz if you if you tell them to to don't wear their hair they have a fit with you you know what i mean verse 36 and they have served their idols which were a snare unto them that's a trap you know rocking that weave that's a trap that's a trap for our women that only a select few women really know about you know Let me get one wisdom of Solomon fourteen and twelve. Wisdom of Solomon chapter fourteen verse twelve for the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. You know, that's what they're doing. They're spiritually fornicating. Because they're not actually sacrificing the hair themselves, but they're but they're buying it from the heathen that's sacrificing it. You know what I mean? So you you're spiritually fornicating. It's, it's this is a spiritual. You gotta look at it in a spiritual aspect. You're spiritually fornicating. If that sacrifice to idols, why would you wear it? You know, just like if we, if you eat something, that sacrifice to idol. That's, that's a sin. You know. That's like, that's like us eating pork. You know, that's sacrifice to idols. You know. You don't indulge into that. You don't do. You don't indulge into anything that you know, as being sacrificed to idols. You know, um, read that again. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication, and the invention of them the corruption of life. You know that's that's corruption, man. That's why America has to be destroyed. You know, and really that's why two thirds. They got to go, you know, they got to be cleansed. Uh, go to, back to Psalms. Psalms 135 and 50, started at 13. Thy name, O Yahweh, endureth forever. And thy memorial, O Yahweh, throughout all generations. <laughs> you know that's a cut for. We get a little bit off topic, but that's a cut for um for anybody that thinks the name doesn't matter, you know. But back to the topic, verse fourteen: For Yahweh, for Yahweh will judge his people, and he will, and he will repent himself concerning his servants. Verse fifteen: The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work. Of man's hands, you know that hair in that video. That was the work of of hands, you know. If you can receive it, you know. Um, yep, Isaiah ch chapter two verse eight. Their land also, Slakia. Like Yep. Isaiah chapter two verse eight. Their land also is full of idols. Their they worship the work of their own hands that they make Salakia, so that which their own fingers have made, you know. So our women were really worshiping these things that that's that was that's ultimately sacrificed to idols and it's the work 
of of man's hands, you know, of their own fingers, you know. They, that's all they do. That's it's, it's crazy, man. Um, let me go to First Corinthians ten and eighteen. Yep, First Corinthians chapter ten, and I'll start at um. I'm start at sixteen. First Corinthians chapter ten verse sixteen. The cup of blessings, which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Hamashiach, the bread which we break? Is it not the communion of the body of Hamashiach? You know, so the the cup and that bread, you know, that's for the communion of Hamashiach, you know, a living true power, the son of the most high Yahweh. Verse 17, for we, for we being many are, are one bread and one body. For we are all partakers of that one bread. You know, um, verse 18. Behold, Israel after the flesh are not they which eat of the sacrifices partakers of the altar. What say I then that the idol is anything or that or that which is offered in sacrifice to the idols is anything, you know. Um, it says, but I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, these other nations, you know, they sacrifice to devils and not to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So these things that weave, you know, that weave is sacrificed to devils, you know, so why would you wear it? You know, it's not sacrificed to Yahweh and neither will it be worthy <laughs> To be sacrificed of the hour. That's why. That's why we. You couldn't do it if we. If it was. If it was us, we couldn't sacrifice hair. You know, that's an abomination. Um. And it says, and I would not, would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. So that's, that's being in fellowship. If you if you wearing something that's pertaining to the to the devil, you know. You you you're in fellowship with it because you have it on your on your physical body, so you're in fellowship with it. Verse twenty one: Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and the cup of devils. That's so you're being double minded. Ultimately, if you if you think you're serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and you and you wearing a weave, you know that's double minded. You drinking the cup of Yahweh and you drinking of the cup of the devils. You know, ye cannot be partakers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah's table and the table of devils. You know, um, I wanted to get a precept. Um, I forgot what the scriptures say. Um, but I'm going to keep reading verse 22 or whether it comes to mind. Um, it says, do we provoke Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah to jealousy? You know, he's a jealous power. Are we stronger than he? You don't want to provoke Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. No. Um, what was that one? Uh, um, I think it says serve manna. Mammal, I think, from now on. Oh, serve two masters. Right. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 24. No man can serve two masters, for neither will he hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and Mammon. So if you, if you dependent on this weave, you know you serving, 
you you um you're serving the devil, you know, because that's sacrifice to devils, you know. So you, you can't serve Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai and Mammon. It's impossible, you know. Uh, we'll get a few more scripts. I'm gonna close out. Uh, Revelations. Oh no, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the reason why our women even have this problem, you know. I'm going to start at Isaiah chapter 3, verse 16. Moreover, Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with, stretch, with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, w walking and, and menacing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. You know, that's, they walk around like whores, you know, switching um, got that proud spirit, you know, like these divas, so-called divas, you know, like they the shit, you know, that's how they, that's how they walk, stretch forth necks. And because they did that, because they, they did that, and this is what Yahweh did to them. Therefore, verse 17, therefore Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. You know, that's why our women are bald headed, you know. You know, that's why they gotta wear these 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 weaves, cause they they feel insecure about themselves. And Yahweh will discover their secret parts, you know? That's why they walk around with their cleavage all out, you know. Yahweh he's put a, that curse upon them. That's why our sisters gotta come back to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And they'll know that they ought to be in modest apparel. They'll come back to their true heritage as as uh, as women, you know. Yeah, so that's why that's why they even they even wearing this weed because they was they was um smited with a scab, you know. Uh, let me stay in the law real quick. Uh, like this. Leviticus 26 and 1, ye shall not make you no idols nor graven images, you know, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am Yahweh your power, you know. I'm gonna just get revelations. Revelations, then I'm gonna get one more. And that's it. Revelations two and Revelations two. I'm going to start at 19. I know thy works and charity and service and faith and thy patience and thy works and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee because thou sufferest the woman, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess to teach and to do my servants to commit fornication. You know, we're com women, they commit fornication by doing that, you know, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols, you know. So we can't eat things that sacrifice unto idols. What makes you think we can wear it on our hair? Things that are sacrificed to idols. It's the same thing, you know. You got to look at it spiritually. You know, you spiritually fornicating. If we can't wear the graven image, you know, that's why I read Leviticus 26 and 1. If you can't wear the graven, you can't set up nothing that's a graven image, you know, like that cross and wear it. What makes you think you can You can wear a weave that sacrificed to idols, you know? You can't eat things that sacrifice to idols. What makes you think you can wear it, you know? And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. You know, this is... um. Um, 
You know, this can go twofold. You know, she, he's giving, he's, you can, this can talk about the um, Israelite women too. You know, he gave the Israelite woman space to repent, to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. You know, that's why a lot of our women got to be destroyed. You know, this is, this is, um, it's talking about Babylon, I believe, you know. But um, you know, it, it can go it can go two ways. Um, let me get another script. Then I'm gonna close out. Cause Elam, they gotta be destroyed, man. For doing this to our women, making money off our women, they profit off our women, you know? And our women are too naive to see it, you know. You can tell her, oh, that that weave is, is um it's an abomination, but they look at you, they look at you like shut the hell up. Who are you? You know, I don't like my real hair. You know that's a that's that's a curse, man. Ezekiel thirty two and twenty four. There is Elam and all her multitude round about her grave, all of them slain, fallen by the sword, which are gone down, uncircumcised into the neither parts of the earth, which caused their terror in the land of the living. Yet have they borne their shame with them that go down to the pit. You know, they, these, Elam, these Elamites are going to be destroyed, you know, causing our people to sin, you know. Let me read verse 25. And they have set her a bed in the midst of the slain, with all her multitude, her graves are round about him, all them uncircumcised, slain by the sword. Though their terror was caused in the land of the living, yet they have borne their shame with them that go down to the pit. He is put in the midst of them that be slain. You know, so these Elamites, they're going to have to be put to death, you know. And along with the two thirds you know, of our people, they're gonna be put to death with these, with these Elamites, Edomites, you know, the Hamites, all these heathen nations. Definitely the so-called white man, the Edomites, you know, are gonna be put to death with these heathen nations. Um, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakodash. Call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakadash. Um, double honors to the apostles and elders of of GMS that rule well and teach well, teaching the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this was edifying. Shalom.